Okay, so I was gonna go live, but the live just would not let me be great. I feel like it might be too many people on the internet, but whatever. We're gonna do a cute abstract design, and then I'm gonna upload this. We're also gonna use a water slide decal, and then for the purposes of this video, I shall be using um, air gel. And this is number 98, but you can also do this with acrylic paint. I'm just going to do it because I want to do something super quick. So I have a stencil here that has pretty much like an L cut out. And so I want to make something geometric. And I'm going to put that here. Hmm. Let me slide that down. I don't know if you've ever attempted to do one of these designs where it's like a painted square and then some abstract other lines and you're just like, eh, and I feel like my line is straight. Well, this makes your line straight. It does. So I bought a few things home with me because we're all quarantined 2020 out here in these streets. And um, the things that I brought home with me are um, airbrush goodies, um, a few 3D gel goodies. Because if I don't do any nail art or sun, like, sis might lose it. And sis can't be losing things. She still got to go back to work. So I'm going to do this design in black. And we're going to do like a little white abstract flower. Um, my hand piece is from Apri. No, not Apri. Air gel. If you haven't used air gel, it's awesome. If you can't get your hands on it, it's because they only sell it in Japan. That's the only place I was ever ever able to purchase it. And you can get it if you go to Japan. Probably not now because, you know, quarantine. But I also have some free videos on my website called themanicuredmaven.com. And what these videos do is they show you all the different equipment available in the U.S and where to get it so what I like to do is spray a little bit it is gel so I'll spray a little bit I don't like to flood it but I'll spray a little bit and then I'll let it rest for a second replace my handpiece remove my stencil perfect line we're gonna set that in our lamp we just need really 10 seconds, not that much. Um, it is gel, so it can be cured in the lab. And then I take my stencil and clean it because I don't need this stencil anymore. And you should just use a little gel cleanser and um, clean it. Gel cleanser, litmus cotton pad. I'm also going to do some lengthwise lines. I got some salvaged pieces here. This is cured. So you know how it is when you bring stuff home. You're like, oh, I could do this, this, and this. And then you remember that you did not bring home everything. So I did not bring home the base to this thing. Great job, Chloe. But whatever. So this is cured. I am going to take, I don't want anything here. But I do want two lines here. So let's mark off my two lines and then we will mark off and I'll use these thinner pieces this is from the mega lines stripes and I am going to move that down just a little bit uh -uh, a little bit more that's one add another one so this is just quick nail art that's why I'm doing it two so the paint is gonna go here so let's make this straight this one is straight I want a stripe here so where the blue is in the center but the goal is to Get it straight. Ooh, nice. Typically, I do not touch my stencils, so that means I also need one right here because I want two lines. Yeah. 
feel like that one ain't as straight as I want. That's that one. Now, I want one more here, but I'm going to use a nice size salvage piece because I don't want any paint on my already painted piece. So that's why I'm doing that. This. And technically, I don't want paint here either. So why don't we do this? We'll take this line off. And we'll put another salvage piece. We'll make sure everybody's straight. So, this would have been way more interactive if, um, you know, everybody wasn't going live. But everybody is, and that's cool. So, what I'm going to do is let's put this one straight. Here, there we go. So, now, also, I probably should have cut that thinner. That way, I didn't have to worry about getting down there. Press it real good. Move that over a little bit. There we go. We're going to do a 90 degree angle, just flat right on top of this. Test out. rest for a little bit. I don't want to flood my stencil. Cool. Clean. Clean. Let's be real careful. Don't be all overzealous over here. Clean. Put that in there to cure. I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna add a water slide decal. So this is like a wet palette that you would use for a stroke design. And I'm gonna put my water slide decal in here. I want to get it soaked up pretty good. And you can start to see it show up. It's white. Let's see if we can get it off of here really good. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I like to start it a little bit. Now, let's grab our matte top coat because I want to do this matte. Oh, sorry. Base color is this full coverage, two coats. It's from Graffiti Nail Bar. It is number 150. For my mat, I have the Koopa mat. I really like it. I really, really like it. I like the Koopa mat and I like In Vogue's mat too. The water slide decals are from either AliExpress or eBay or Amazon, but more than likely AliExpress. I haven't ordered anything since the full-blown quarantine, so I don't know if they shipping already yet to the state, but it's like a huge sheet. Some of the stuff is in Russian, I'm assuming. But that's a huge sheet. No, it came together. I can't remember how much it was, but it's from AliExpress. Just search water slide details. You can find it. 
or Amazon. Real cute. Real cute. Okay, so we're gonna add a few more details. This is um, Jellicans from Tammy Taylor and a striper brush from Japan. And I'm just gonna do some flourishes or something. Something cool. I had to hold this all weird because I don't have the base. Because I left it at work. Which is very easier. I like this stuff because it cures tack free. And so since it cures tack free. Of a tight coat, so I can have my base part shiny and my my base part matte, and this part shiny. Yes, just something, a little something extra. Put this in here, cap this off. I don't want to cure that, and then I do a 30 second cure on it. You can also, because it cures tack free, you can also run rub chrome and pigments into that, and then it makes a nice, good effect. And you could do sugaring with it. I really like it, especially like I could have sugared that design, I didn't. I just want it shiny and matte, not shiny and um, textured. We go. Oops, oops, oops. Hmm. Layering in airbrush and water slide and hand painting. Trifecta. <laughs> 